Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be making French toast in the air fryer. This is my first time making it. So um, you guys just need to kind of follow along with the steps that I am going to be giving you today. So we're just gonna be um, cutting up some of the bread that I have. I ended up getting um, some Texas toast from Walmart. I was able to find it there. And um, so I have all my slices of bread right here. I have my sugar, my cinnamon, my cup of milk, um, vanilla, my eggs, and then um, I have my melted butter right here. So I'm going to be mixing this up and getting started. Um, the first thing that you need to do is cut your bread in three sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quickly. Okay, so now that I have my bread cut up, I just had them um, three pieces um, together and then I just cut them in three sections. So if you pull it apart, you'll have them all like that. So I have my pile ready. Um, ne the next thing you need to do is crack your eggs. So I have five here that I'm gonna be using for this recipe. Um, you can kinda, I guess, play around with it for your family size. Today, I'm just gonna be making um, as many as I have out right now. So the recipe calls for five eggs. So I have it written down right here. So it is 12 slices of Texas toast, one cup of milk, five large eggs, four tablespoons of melted butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, one fourth cup sugar, and one tablespoon of cinnamon, and then maple syrup for um, dunking it in after. So I'm gonna get started with the eggs here. I'm going to be placing my one cup of milk in my four tablespoons of butter and you're gonna want to mix that together so I'm gonna give that a good mix so you're pretty much gonna make it the same as if you were to on the stove it's just um, doing something a little different I guess adding it to the air fryer I also need to add in my vanilla need one teaspoon of vanilla now if you guys don't like vanilla you just don't need to add it so I'll mix that in all right so I'm gonna set that aside because we are gonna want to make our cinnamon and sugar mixture now you need one fourth cup sugar and then you need one tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna mix that together and then we're gonna get started with the French toast. So I have all my stuff mixed up here. I have my egg mixture, I have my cinnamon and sugar right here, and then we're gonna be adding everything to the air fryer. Dunk your toast in and then coat it with your cinnamon and sugar mixture and then just place it right in i'm not going to spray or anything in my air fryer today so i'm not going to worry about that so just make sure that you're coating your um your bread and then i'll just see how many i can fit in here you might have to make more or less of your cinnamon sugar uh, mixture depending on how many you want to make. I could have probably made a little bit more. So I'm kind of running out here. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make one more here. So that's all I have in my bowl for the cinnamon and sugar. And then I'll just make up some more after I do this batch. Okay, so I'm gonna put that off to the side. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. I'm going to be setting my air fryer for 400, 400 degrees, and then I'm gonna be cooking them for um, three minutes, and then I'm gonna flip them over and cook them for another three minutes. So we'll be back and check on that. Okay, so the three minutes are up. I'm gonna flip them over and we're gonna cook them for another three minutes. And if your cooking time is off from what I'm doing, you guys can add more time to yours. Don't feel like you have to follow my cooking time because my I, my um, air fryer might be different than yours. So really make sure that you guys are following what your air fryer, um, like, if you're used to like your settings and stuff on your air fryer, I'm actually gonna cook it for, I think like four more minutes or so, and then I'll check it. I might have to do mine a little bit longer too. Um, but follow your, um, like your guidelines for your air fryer. Mine might be totally different. I know I had a couple of you guys asking like um, temperature wise on what I'm doing versus what you're doing or why is yours not cooking as long as mine or different things like that. It could be air fryer. Even if we have the same air fryer, you still might have just maybe a, a hotter air fryer or the element is just a little bit different than mine. So just practice. Um, and check it often. There's nothing wrong with you opening up your air fryer and just checking it um, because you don't wanna burn what you're making. Um, so don't worry about you know it not going by what my uh, recipe is. So just kinda of just follow along, I guess. Um, so when I cooked it for the three minutes, it still didn't seem like it was uh, even really doing anything. I did not do a preheat for this recipe. So if I would have went ahead and did like a 400 degrees, two or three minute preheat, and then cooked it for three minutes, I think I would have had a better outcome. So sometimes it's the preheating um, that you can get a little bit different cooking times with that too. I think it all depends on that. So, um, you know, when we make stuff in the air fryer, we are always kind of like checking it, making sure that uh, it's not overcooking. So you kind of got to follow that. And I know that a lot of times in some of my other videos, um, a lot of people were saying, you know, maybe it was overdone or whatever. And it's also going to be on preference on how you like to eat it. So if I'm cooking something and it's darker than what you would prefer, then you need to cut back on timing on your air fryer. I might like mine, like if I made grilled cheese or something like that, I might like mine a little darker than yours. So kind of just follow along with what you like and what you prefer. You guys might not like... Um, you know, French toast with cinnamon in it. So then kind of change the recipe to how you guys like it. You, you guys are just getting the ideas maybe from me, but you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. So we're gonna let this cook up the rest of the time. I'm gonna come back and check on it in two minutes and it still might not be done and I just have to add a little bit more time to it and that's okay too. So we'll come back. Okay, so I cooked it for I think, what did I, I can't even remember anymore. I think I had it on for me. All right, so I cooked it down to the rest of the time that was, that I set it to. Um, if you guys like how it is at uh, cooking it for seven minutes, so three on one side, four on the other, if that is good for you guys, then go ahead and eat it that way. Um, but for me, I think this still needs to be cooked a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it one more time. And I'm gonna cook it for another like three minutes. I think because my air fryer is already warm, it's gonna cook pretty quick now. So I'm just gonna set it for um, 400. And I'm just gonna cook it for three more minutes. I cooked it, I stopped it at, let's see once. 
Okay, so I had it set for three minutes and I only cooked it for another um, one minute and they're already finished. I don't want to go any darker than this. So let me just plate these on. Now, depending on how you want to cook them um, and like crunch wise you could probably cook them up just a little bit longer but i didn't want to overcook them so we i think this is pretty good the way they are right now um on camera i know they look a little dark but they're not as dark as they are off camera so they look pretty good actually i wish you guys had a better view of actually what they look like because um they do look pretty good so i'm excited to give these a try we have a couple kids in the house that do like french toast so hopefully maybe you know the kids can make this up on their own and this would be something easy for them to do some of my kids like making things and instead of pulling out a frying pan they're able to just stick them in the air fryer and do that or if i wanted to go ahead and make up all of these that i have right here and cook them up put them in the freezer you could also freeze them in um maybe like individual baggies that they could just pull out a couple and um heat them back up in the air fryer for probably i would say maybe like one or two minutes um in the air fryer after they are frozen because you don't want to overcook them from a froze you know when you freeze them so i think you just kind of got to play around with that just to make sure that you don't uh overcook them so hopefully you guys like today's video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one